Hey all my friends! Today I am in the What Would You Make Challenge again. Uh, it's hosted by Zaina from OK At Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. This is a monthly challenge that I so enjoy being in and I hope you guys enjoy it too. For this month, it's all about pumpkins. My name is Tammy. This is Lamas Creations DIY. Let's start crafting. For this first craft, I have three pieces of wood that I drilled holes, two holes in each side. They're about six inches wide, each of them, and they're roughly about 12 inches long. I kind of rounded each side and did a little whooshy whoosh on the top. Taking some Java home decor chalk paint, I'm going to just brush it all around the edges. I go all around the edges and down each of the pieces. I do all the sides and on the top. And I just go along with my Java paint. Next, taking some water, I spray down the board. And taking another brush, I'm going to blend the brown into the board. So that way it kind of is goes darker to lighter down into the middle, giving it kind of a shadow effect. And there's no rhyme or reason. You just kind of swoosh it down and go until you like it. That's basically what I did. I rounded some of it out, trying to give it a little dimension. And I did this to all the pieces. Now what I'm doing is taking four tumbling tower blocks. I'm going to make two sets glued together like this, just with some Eileen's tacky glue and some hot glue. And then I glue those on top of each other. Just like that. I'm going to take some burnt umber acrylic paint Paint the entire thing, and then taking a cloth, I rub it all off, making it look like a stain. Now, these are all the pieces. I did the front and the back, same way. Taking some sisal wire, wire, no, rope. I'm going to thread it in the top hole through the back, come up and around, thread it through the top hole in the front, so it goes to the back. Flip the pieces over and we're going to tie them into a knot. This stuff is pretty thick so I had to really tie it into a knot. I was grinding my teeth as I was pulling those kind of like that. Used every little muscle. Then I take a little bit of hot glue, add it in between the knots to hopefully it'll hold it all together. Tie it so or tighten it some more. And then using my scissors, I'll trim off the end. And I'm okay with the ends being a little frayed. Kind of like that. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom. And then we're going to also do the same thing to the other side. The exact same way. Tying it in a knot, adding some glue. Tying it in another knot. Pull really tight and add some glue to hopefully hold those ties together. I have this black and beige burlapy ribbon stuff. I'm going to cut it in half and just simply tie it around the neck of the pumpkin. I guess I forgot I showed to show you that I glued the stem on, but yes, we glue the stem on. I may have then, taking some of these little greenery pieces that came off of cattails, I'm going to add all those in, give it a little extra something, add in some white pit berries, this cute little orange, orangey yellow berry thingy on top, and then I found this here in my stash, a little pumpkin with some leaves on it, and this project is done. Nice rustic pumpkin. I used hot glue and wood glue to glue the stem on to the pumpkin. And that's those were those tumbling tower blocks. I love it. Next craft. You're going to need 20 blocks, tumbling tower blocks, using Eileen's tacky glue and some hot glue. 
you're going to glue four side by side. And you just want to make sure they're as straight as possible and as even as possible. Then, standing it up, taking another block. Hello, what are you doing? We're going to put some Eileen Tacky glue and some hot glue. And we're going to glue it to the edge like that. And then we're going to do one on the other side. Then we're going to take another one, glue it in behind that one. And then glue another one beside that. And whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. Or vice versa, whatever you do to the right, you do to the left. So it's going to go one on each side, then two on each side. And then I do another two rows with two on each side. And then, oh, we're still doing another row. Sorry, I didn't realize I left all this in here. But I guess it's a good way to show you how I did it. So there's the three rows with two on each side going across. And then you're going to glue one on each side after that. And that's how it should look. I made another one like so. So basically uh, this one would need 40 and then you're going to need two extra ones for the stems. Just like so. So a total of 62 blocks. Now, taking a mixture of paint that I mixed together to make an, a nice deep orange, I'm going to paint this one entirely in the orange. I used orange and brown, a little bit of red. And this one I'm going to paint in, I think it says moss green. I can never see it in the folk art map. Then taking some uh, burnt umber acrylic paint, I'm going to paint the stem. And then I go down all the little crevices and outside of the blocks and I just distress each and every block. And I also distress on top. I do the exact same thing to the taller one. Now using two different fall ribbons. This one has pumpkins on it, the other one has leaves. I'm taking out the little wires that are on the ends because it's a wired ribbon. Fold it in half, tie it around the stem. Use a little hot glue to make sure it stays in place. Then I just keep on embellishing it. Use some of this nice lace ribbon. Make a little bow out of the lace ribbon. Glue that to the green one. And then now I'm doing the big one. If you heard a big bang, that was my dog laying down. And I swear, she just, when she lays down, kaflunk her head. I don't know how that does not hurt. Adding the ribbon on. She's an old girl, so I think her head is getting heavy for her. Making a bow out of some jute twine. I'm going to add that on. I add on a sunflower to the big one. I add on a leaf to the green one. And these here are complete as well. Kind of like a 3D effect pumpkin. I love them. I can't pick my favorite out of all these three pumpkins that I'm going to be making because they're just, I love them all. Now these here are some blocks or some wood. They're each five inches wide. You're going to need two that are three inches, two that are four inches, two that are five inches, two that are six inches, and one that is seven inches. You're going to take the three inch, glue it onto the four inch. You're going to take those two, glue it onto the five inch. Then you're going to glue those ones onto the six inch. And then those ones onto the seven inch. And then you're going to make another pile. The three to the four to the four to the five, the five to the six. And then set them aside to dry. I'm using wood glue. You can use any kind of glue, but I suggest something that's a little stronger than hot glue so they all stick together. 
When those two are dry, you're now going to glue the six inch to the seven inch on the other side. Then while that's still gluing, I took this little spindle off of the chair, cut it down, and we glued it to the top for its stem. Taking that same mixture of orange, it was dry, so I just added some water. We're going to dry brush it, ish, dry brush ish, ish, all over the pumpkin. I didn't want a full cover, coverage. Well, I didn't want a full coverage, so I just kind of dry brushed it all over, giving it the rustic feel. I love this one too. I'm going to add on a little bit of green. Not too much, just a little bit here and there. And then I also add on a little bit of brown and I paint the stem as well. Taking some moss, Spanish moss, we're going to glue it around the top, just with some hot glue. Add on this pretty brown lacy ribbon. I'm going to add on some of this cream colored ribbon course we need some jute rope add on some of that I add in some leaves and a nice orange sunflower and this here is done another beautiful rustic pumpkin you have to let me know which one is your favorite because I cannot decide I like them all I love them all they're they're all they're so unique in each one of them and I just love them all I hope you guys like them too. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy videos like this, please consider giving this video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget that little bell so you know every other time that I upload. If you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to say welcome back. I'm always so happy to see you here and love reading all of your comments. I would like to thank the ladies for hosting another wonderful challenge, and we'll see you again next time. Bye! If you enjoyed this video and enjoy videos like this, 